Well, welcome everyone once again to another Baptist Bread Daily Devotional. And today is Thursday, December 19th. And over 2,000 years ago... Oops, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, came down to this earth, was born of a virgin, and lived a holy, sinless life. And he did not stay a baby in that manger. He... Uh, he grew up, and he went to the cross willingly, and he laid down his life for you and for me. And if you want to keep him in a baby, and a baby in a manger, well, he is grown up, and he's uh, risen, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. And yes, he is going to judge this world one day, and if you have not put your faith and trust in him, and him alone, then you will stand before God in the judgment, and you will give an account for what you did with Jesus. So... You need to trust him today, friend, because a day of salvation. So boast not thyself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. All right. Well, I hope you'll put your faith and trust in Jesus alone today. Today is the day of salvation. All right. Well, today's title is The Bird in the Bush or The Snake in the Woodpile. <clears throat> and the verse is from Philippians 4, verse 8. And it says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. And those things are Jesus, anything that has to do with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Those things that are above. All right. So let's... Uh, put our mind and set our mind on those things and stop thinking of things that are temporal and think of things that are eternal. <clears throat> Amen. And uh, today's author is Tim Green again from Revival in Our Time, Day Heights, Ohio. And he says here as he starts out, if there is any verse in the Bible that I feel I fully understand yet have a great difficulty o obeying it, it is our verse for today. Yeah, <laughs> and we can all say that we have difficulty obeying this verse because we tend to want to think on temporal things and things of this life and discombobulated and get all sorrowful and put our minds on temporal things and things that are going to shake our, shake our uh, faith and shake our mind. And the Lord says that that should not be. So we should be thinking on these things listed above here in this verse. Amen. So again, he says, if there's any verse in the Bible, and we can all agree on that, that I feel I fully understand, yet have a difficulty obeying it, it is our verse for today. To illustrate this, he says, let me give some flora and fauna facts from our yard. <laughs> all right. So he says, the bird in the bush was a cardinal that built her nest in an in rose bush that grew outside our bedroom window, Brother Tim says. Uh, we watched both parents tend the nest, and I really wanted to cancel a couple of meetings just to be there when the babies discovered America. I didn't, and I missed the hatching. The other side of the story is a 36-inch snake of unknown species that lived in my woodpile. I almost got him once with my lawnmower one spring day by but veering to miss a protruding log he got away i avoided that log pile until fall i haven't seen him since thank god he says i think we would all do well delighting in cardinals unless you are a uh, died in the wool reds or cubs fan <laughs> uh, instead of dwelling on the serpents that frequent our lives amen Snakes are rep reptiles that ought to ought to be avoided. Uh, ask Eve. Yeah, and birds and rose bushes are things that can be enjoyed, remembered, and are positive stimuli in life. Amen. All right. So let's uh, not focus on those snakes and reptiles in our lives. Uh, amen. And uh, you can use this in a spiritual aspect sense. Praise the Lord. So, again, uh, let's read this verse, Philippians 4, 8. Finally, brethren, so brethren, finally, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, 
Whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Amen. So let's think on those things. <clears throat> think on Jesus, because he's all of those things. Amen. And he provides all of those things. So let's trust him today, and every day, and every moment. All right. Well, that is it for the topic of the bur bird in the bush or the snake in the woodpile. So if you're just joining me, you can go back and listen to this in its entirety. It's pretty good. So what are you uh, focusing your, your mind and your heart on? Things that are temporal, those things that will shake your mind and shake your uh, soul, or things of the Lord that will give you peace. Amen. And the Lord will give you peace and joy and comfort if you'll keep your mind stayed upon Him. Amen. All right, well, now it's time for the daily Bible reading, and we are going through Revelation, and we are in Revelation chapter 11 today, so if you have your authorized version of the Bible, please join along. If you don't, you're probably not going to get the entirety of this, and something's probably going to be changed, because all the modern perversions like to change the Bible, and so if you have discovered this yet, it's time to... Uh, get yourself the right Bible, amen, the authorized version, amen, so let's uh, read along here, <clears throat> chapter 11, and verse 1, says, And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple, leave out, and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth, and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues, as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Hmm. And they of the people, and kindreds, and tongues, and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. <laughs> and uh, if you really think about that verse, what, what, what time of year would that be? Hmm, uh, I know Brother James talked about that one time, or a couple times. What, what, what do you think that, uh, that they're rejoicing over and making merry and giving gifts one to another. Hmm. That would be the pagan mass, maybe? Perhaps? <laughs> so. Me. All right. Well, we'll move on along past that. But uh, just think about that for a minute. <clears throat> and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. So the Lord caught them up into the air, these two witnesses. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, 
And there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Amen. And one day the Lord will reign forever and ever, and uh, will rule, will be living a <clears throat> So, and the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, oh yeah, because they were angry, and, they are, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto their, thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings, and voices, and thunderings, and an earthquake, and great hail. Yes. Alright, so, that is the end of chapter 11. And tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll be going into chapter 12. And learning some more about all this stuff. And hopefully you will not go through this. If you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, we will be up in heavenly places with the Lord while all this is going on. Praise the Lord. We won't go through the tribulation. Amen. So if you think that we are, well, one day you're going to realize that we're not. And uh, so if you're saved, that is. If you're not saved, today is that day to trust the Lord. Amen. So as the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. All right, well, that will end it for today's devotional topic and the Bible reading. And Lord willing, tomorrow we'll be back with the topic, Living in Darkness. So I hope you're not living in darkness, because you can see the light. Amen? And the light is Jesus Christ. And we'll be in Revelation chapter 12 tomorrow also. So I hope you'll come back and uh, listen to this broadcast tomorrow for the Baptist Bread devotional. All right, well... Until next time, may the Lord richly bless you, and you all have a great and wonderful rest of your Thursday. Amen. This is Brother Scott signing off. Bye-bye for now.